to my channel. Today I'll be filming this makeup look. I was inspired by the Starbucks Pumpkin Spice Latte and I also picked up the new Balmain lipsticks which I'll be swatching for you. I'll be showing you three of my favourite shades that you should pick up too. I will also share my thoughts about these ones and I'll be doing a chatty get ready with me. This time it won't be a voiceover. So if you want to see how I did this makeup look and also hear my thoughts about these Bauman lipsticks, keep watching. I already applied my foundation so now I will put some concealer under my eyes. I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer. I use three concealers by the way, I know it's a bit crazy but... Oh well, and this one is by Collection. I'll probably do my base quick because I've already done a few videos on my channel. Okay, now I apply this NARS concealer. This is the matte concealer. I think it's called, what is it called? Soft matte concealer in vanilla light 2. By the way, the creamy concealer I used before that was in Custard and the collection one is in One Fair. I forgot to mention what foundation I used. The Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. I mixed it together with the Dior Capture Total. Actually, do you guys realise that's my first chatty get ready with me? I usually do voiceover. But this time, I decided that I'll film it like this. Let me know which ones you prefer. Do you prefer the voiceover or me talking to you and doing my makeup? Okay, now that I've done my base, my foundation and concealer, I'll set it with this Universal Powder by Laura Mercier. I'll apply a little bit more around my nose because I get oily there on my chin as well because it gets oily throughout the day. Before I continue with my brows and my contour, I spray this MAC Fix Plus all over my face. Sometimes the powder gets cakey, especially under my eyes. Quite powdery, so yeah, I love to set it before I continue. Also, before I forget, after I'm done with my foundation, I apply some kind of lip balm. Oh my god, this makes my lips so pink. Um, I'm using the Geo Lip Glow in 005 Lilac Lilac? Oh, I think I picked up the wrong one I thought this one was the original, like Rosy Glow I really love this lip balm, however I don't like the fact that it makes my lips so pink I really prefer the Dior Lip Scrub to be honest and the Dior Rosy lip balm the one that's in like round packaging okay so for my brows I just brush through my brows I'm using this pencil by Sleek in 717 medium my favorite eyebrow pencil is this one by Dolce & Gabbana but I used it up and I haven't repurchased it yet I have to repurchase it because it's my favorite this one was about five or six pounds and it's actually really good as well. It's exactly the same, like it has a spoolie on one side. So this is the Dolce & Gabbana one and this is the sleek one. I still prefer the Dolce & Gabbana one. It's slightly easier to apply, I feel. So this is one eyebrow done and this is my natural brow hair. No product. My eyebrows are never symmetrical. They look so thick now, oh my God. Okay, I'll continue with my contour. This time I'll only use powder contour. Sometimes I like to do cream contour first. My favorite cream contour is by Tom Ford in Intensity 2. This time I just want to do powder contour. I'm applying my bronzer with this Real Techniques brush and then with a smaller brush, I'll blend that line. And then I keep blending and blending. Then to add some warmth, I'm using this amazing Givenchy bronzer that I picked up from Sephora in Nice. I hope it's still available because it's really good for adding some warmth and blending everything all together. I'll use a larger Dior brush 
to really blend everything together. I always apply it on my neck as well. My jawline will apply some of the darker bronzer on my forehead. Also don't forget to blend it nicely in your hairline. I finally look alive with that contour. So next will be my nose contour. Okay, this is definitely not, not the best <laughs> nose contour I've done. But it's hard when I'm filming trying to show you. I also apply the hair on the tip of my nose and I blend it. Sometimes I actually use my fingers and blend it with my fingers to be honest. If you see any harsh lines you can always use the beauty blender and blend it with the beauty blender. Next is the highlighter. I'll be using this Chanel highlighter which was limited edition. I'm not sure if it's still available. Hopefully it is. It's a beautiful highlighter, camellia highlighter. I really hope it will show on camera so you can see how stunning this highlighter is. It's quite glittery as well. So this is where I apply it between my eyebrows, down my nose and my cheekbones. It's quite silver and I want to make it more golden so it can match my skin tone better. So I'll be using this Geo highlighter which is almost finished I just apply it on top of my Chanel one and I'm also using this Chanel brush that comes with the highlighter it also comes with the powders it's actually amazing for applying highlighter then my all-time favorite blusher I always use this blush it's the lovers brush by Estee Lauder so I basically applied this where I applied my contour and a little bit on my cheeks Okay, so I've done one eye, which you can see here. I love how it turned out, so I'll show you how I did this eye. So I'll show you which brushes I'll be using doing this look. Flat eyeshadow brushes, a larger one and a smaller. Also a Chanel blending brush. My all-time favorite Gucci blending brush. I'm using the Huda Beauty palette and I'll be only using like two shadows from this palette. I'll be using mainly Henna. So I start with henna and I apply it in my outer corner in a V. Actually I apply it all over the lid, I lied. <laughs> Alright, then I will get the Gucci brush and dip it into sandalwood which is a really nice transitioning colour and kind of blend them together I dip into henna again and apply henna on my lower lash line then I'll get this Ooh. <laughs> I'm back <laughs> then with the small flat eyeshadow brush I'll do this. I've shown you this trick in my other makeup videos. This creates the illusion of higher cheekbone. Then I'll get the bigger flat eyeshadow brush to blend my lower lash line. And then I will dip into cocoa. Then I also get the black truffle. A little bit of the black truffle because it's very pigmented. This black color is very, very pigmented. And using this flat brush, I'll just blend it into the crease. And then I keep blending until I'm happy basically with the shadows. It's very very simple. I literally use two, three colors. So if you prefer a more matte look, I'll stop here and not add any 
shimmer or sparkles glitter or anything however i will continue and apply trust fund which is this shade here it's one of my favorites actually then i'll kind of tidy it up a little bit with a brush it's a bit hard to apply these shadows in the inner corner Then I get black eyeliner and only apply the hair. I'll just smudge this black eyeliner. I don't have to be too precise because I'll apply fake lashes. Once I'm happy with how everything is blended, I apply mascara. And for mascara I'll be using this Dior Pump and Volume which is my Fave. I won't apply too much of this mascara so you can't really see the full effect but this mascara is great my lashes look like fake lashes um, if I do them properly but now I just apply it lightly because I'll be putting on fake lashes I know some people don't like mascara on their bottom lashes but I love it I am quite lucky that I have long bottom lashes because I love the look I usually use the Lash Lashes in Edition 14, which are exclusive to Superdrug, or I use the Ardell Wispies. I just opened their new pair of eyelashes and I actually don't like brand new eyelashes. I like them when, I, when they're slightly used. I feel that they look more natural as well when they're, when they're used. So I use one pair of eyelashes for like months, five, six months, I can use only one pair of eyelashes. So this is how much glue I put on my lashes. Wait one minute and then apply it with my tweezers. Never apply your fake eyelashes very close to the inner corner then they'll start to peel off and they'll feel very uncomfortable so if they're too long make sure you trim them before you apply your fake lashes I will apply a little bit of mascara as well to blend them together with my lashes now that I'm done with my eye look and my face it's time for the lips I really wanted to show you the new Balmain L'Oreal lipsticks and I'll show you three of my favorite shades which I think are perfect for fall. I'm not sure if they launched everywhere. They finally launched here in the UK so I picked up six lipsticks but I'll show you these three because they're my favorite. I will start with this crazy one which is Liberation. One thing I wish they did was lip liners. Because these are very pigmented, but they're very hard to apply, especially these dark colors. I use this little brush, do this, and then... So this is the first color. I know this one doesn't go with my eye makeup, but I won't show you it because I think this is such a different, a bit vampy, but I also think it's perfect for fall. So if you're brave enough, definitely have a look at this one. They also have a lighter purple color, but I really like this very deep, rich purple. I don't have anything like it in my collection. This is the lipstick without any lip liner. It could be a bit patchy, but again with a lip liner it will look amazing you don't really need any eyeshadows with this lipstick I think it's such a statement bold color that you only need a mascara and maybe eyeliner and that's it but it's also perfect for Halloween what do you guys think <laughs> I really really love this color and also makes your teeth look very white <laughs> okay the next color that you should try is this one here this is in the blue packaging and this is the color it's called power this is a very dark brownish red color so this is the next shade again without any lip liner oh i really like this color it's the perfect fall winter color guys this is amazing this 
the last shade is this one which is fever i think this is one of the most popular ones i absolutely love this color this is the color that inspired me to create this makeup look every time i look at this color i'm like oh pumpkin spice latte <laughs> My favorite color it's such a unique shade and it's the most pigmented out of all of them it's not patchy at all this formula feels so comfortable on the lips I wore it all day a few days ago and first I got so many compliments second I had Starbucks and it didn't come off it stayed on I think all these three shades that I showed you are perfect for fall but this is definitely my favorite one what do you guys think which one was your favorite I forgot to mention that these Bauman lipsticks retail for 13 pounds so they're a bit more expensive but look at the packaging I have a few more shades but they're not really my favorite and I don't feel that they suit me that much another color that I can recommend is the red one which I didn't pick up but I swatched it I tried it on in the store and it's a gorgeous true red color so if you're a fan of red lips definitely have a look at that one I didn't pick it up because I have way too many reds and I don't really wear uh, red lipsticks that much this is the final look I really hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think of this look in the comment section down below if you decide to recreate this look make sure you tag me as well come follow me on my other social media platforms I'm on Instagram Facebook snapchat and Twitter don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it I really appreciate it guys also subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll see you in my other video bye